Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the third module of 18 CS 51. So in this module we will uh, be talking about the entrepreneurs. So um, who is an entrepreneur, the meaning, characteristics and classification and the stages in the entrepreneurial process and the role of entrepreneurs in economic development and we will be considering the case of India also and we will uh, learn about the uh, different business opportunities and the market feasibility, technical and financial and social feasibility. So before uh, watch, uh, before starting like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. So after the discussion we will be coming to the uh, previous questions. So let's uh, get started with the discussion here. Who is an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is the one who takes the uh, bears the risk of the uh, risk of operating a business and as well as sees the opportunities and uh, tries to make uh, good use out of it okay so uh, <clears throat> historically starting from the 16th century the word entrepreneur came up in the um, daily life okay so uh, in the 16th century it was just applied to the military expeditions and in the 17th century to the civil engineering and to the 18th century it came for the economic aspects also okay and what are the functions of entrepreneur these are the self-explanatory uh, topics so i need not uh, explain each of these like I'll go through each uh, each of this planning of the project management to face uh, to face risk and distribution of rewards and sale of products scale of production and joint stock organization okay these are the functions of an entrepreneur what are the characteristics the entrepreneur takes the initiative and looks for the opportunities and consistently uh, works towards the goals and he gathers the information from the external sources and also he is more concerned about the quality of the work and commitment to the actual what are the responsibilities he has to complete it and efficiency oriented and planning problem solving self confidence experience and self critical okay and types of entrepreneurs are divided based on the different um, classification like based on functional characteristics innovative who gives some ideas initiative who uh, totally changes the uh, goals of the um, company like uh, a big change and Fabian and Ron are those who are unwilling to change uh, something in their company unless it will directly affect their very existence of the company. Okay, At that time only they will consider the changes. And based on the uh, development angle, Prime Mover is the one who actually makes big changes in the company. Manager is the one who manages uh, some uh, subdomains. And Minor Innovator gives uh, the ideas. A satellite is the one who um, keeps the all the track of what all is happening overall in the company and, uh, just for the local uh, area okay and uh, types of business manufacturing wholesaling retailing or service so in that uh, different types of entrepreneurs will be there and based on the behavior like solo entrepreneur active inventors challengers buyers or lifetimers okay and the based on technological factors technical entrepreneur non-technical entrepreneur or professional professional means he is both uh, technical and non-technical and classification based on the growth means a normal growth or a super growth entrepreneur means he brings uh, very innovative ideas and classification based on the development which is the first generation these people are new and uh, they have like uh, they spend a, a small amount of money with their risk okay and uh, modern uh, development are the normal entrepreneurs and the classical ones are always looking for the bring the more profit to the company without um, like not a sudden growth or change okay like uh, uh, slowly slowly they are uh, trying to um, bring uh, profit to the company okay those type are known as classical entrepreneurs and uh, different uh, according to the different area like urban or rural and the uh, gender men and women and the sale of operation small medium or large okay coming to entrepreneur entrepreneur is the one who is working in an organization and within that the research is going on okay if, if the research is successful he will start its own startup okay that's known as entrepreneur okay and the stages of development in the entrepreneurial process perceiving and identifying opportunity then evaluating if it's possible to make a product out of it and drawing up a business plan and uh, gathering the resources and after that creating an enterprise and uh, doing the management process and all okay so this is the stages of the process for entrepreneurship um, for entrepreneurship journey okay and role of entrepreneurs in the economic development so the Firstly, entrepreneurs, what they do, they uh, increase the per capita income of the country, okay, and they provide also, and they create the opportunities for the people who are unemployed, okay, like small and medium scale entrepreneurs will uh, provide a lot of opportunities who are unemployed, who are unemployed, so this fact is um, recognized by the scholars, economics, and the leaders, so they are giving more importance for, uh, for the small and medium price enterprises, okay. 
and some of the important roles that an entrepreneur plays in the economic development of a country that uh, he promotes the capital of the company by, by mobilizing the uh, sales okay means uh, due to an entrepreneur there will be a lot of uh, advertisements and the spread of awareness so the people will come to know about the product and the uh, mobilizing of the finance will happen okay and uh, he, uh, the entrepreneurship provides immediate large uh, scale employment and it promotes a ba balanced regional development and also it increases the effective resource utilization and capital okay also they uh, promote the export trade which is an important ingredient for the economic development now coming to edp which is uh, entrepreneurship development program this is a program designed for those who want to excel in the field of entrepreneurship and coming to the entrepreneurship in india here we have like it can be traced back to like uh, old days like when the metal handicrafts were being made from that time the entrepreneurship is existing in india okay and the government has uh, time to time passed some policies to enhance the efficiency of the um, entrepreneurship and uh, the three important resolutions were like uh, to have a equal distribution of the economic power between private and public sector and to increase the rapid industrialization and to give importance for the small and poor initiatives okay and to achieve these goals the government had uh, in 2002 to uh, 2002 um, <clears throat> in 2002 the government had brought up a initiative which is ncmp national common minimum program which uh, describes the uh, small scale enterprises as the most employment uh, employment intensive segment means in the small scale if you develop the small uh, small scale um, startups at that time the employment uh, unemployment will reduce faster okay so that uh, what happened in uh, 2002 is that um, like uh, 2.4 million people got the job in rural areas and the urban areas okay so this is one of the initiative which the government has taken uh, in the field of entrepreneurship okay and what are some of the reasons why do, uh, most of the startups don't um, last okay <clears throat> and what's the reason that uh, some of the startups don't last okay the main thing is that lack of viable concept viable means uh, minimum uh, viable uh, concept means what is um, in the least terms what is uh, practical that they are unable to um, showcase in uh, showcase in front of the other people and the second is the lack of market knowledge lack of technical skills and lack of capital and a lack of know how means some experiences and lack of motivation distractions monopoly and obsolescence of the technology or the idea okay these are some of the factors which lead to the failure of startups okay and and identification of the opportunity is very important there are two types those people who know actually what to do and those people who are completely new to it okay so these two people will have uh, different types of opportunities and there are three factors in it the first one is additive additive means adding small ideas complementary means what is there uh, actually going on and uh, leading a, a, a big change in it okay and breakthrough means a very big change means a large scale change okay so based on uh, these three factors these two people which are experienced and they completely new can identify their opportunities okay and lastly we have the feasibility study which means uh, whenever whenever we have an idea is it feasible or not there are four different domains to be considered market feasibility uh, technical feasibility financial feasibility and social feasibility let's uh, discuss each one by one market feasibility means uh, having a, a good understanding of the what what the market uh, trends are and uh, the past and present supply position import and exports structure of the competition cost structure and so this is about the market feasibility and uh, study is carried out in which these factors are um, analyzed okay and same thing for the technical feasibility here we'll uh, focus more on the raw material scale equipment and the machines and coming to financial feasibility we'll uh, be, we'll be looking at the how much uh, cost is going to go into the product how much expected uh, revenue we'll get uh, from the uh, business so those things will be analyzed here after that the social feasibility is analyzed which means that will the people be uh, able to afford the product or if it has any environmental harm means the product is harmful for the environment and uh, will the product uh, benefit the people and how will it impact the savings and investments in the society okay so after getting to know about uh, these four factors uh, the um, entrepreneurs will come to a final conclusion whether or not to proceed further with the development okay now let's uh, see the questions here these are the questions which i have already discussed now so most of the questions i have discussed like uh, define an entrepreneur what are the characteristics of entrepreneur and the various stages and what are the barriers and the entrepreneurship in india and identification of business opportunities and uh, classification of entrepreneurs technical and financial feasibility and finally the differentiate between the differentiate between the 
entrepreneurs entrepreneur and managers this also i had discussed manager is the one who is financially uh, who is uh, officially appointed to handle a business and entrepreneur is the one who works within an organization and uh, tries to build something um, beneficial and uh, entrepreneur is the one who works outside the organization okay bringing the uh, revenue from external sources okay so this all what is there in the module 3 of uh, 18 cs 51 and and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one